runs first ever crochet along. My name is Gemma Atkinson and I'm here with Lisa Richardson. Lisa is um, the designer of this crochet along so she's here to talk about our ideas behind it and the different projects that we have for you guys to join in and crochet along. Lisa? Hi, um, well we decided to do a crochet along this time. We've done um, two knit along so far which have been really popular and fantastic. Um, but I was asked to do the next project and I love crochet so much that it's um, Find a great way of kind of um, working when you're working with crochet and using colour and um, just kind of adapting different um, placement of motifs and things like that so you can create so many different projects out of it. Um, we've chosen to do four different projects, um, two fairly small ones, a cushion and a scarf and two which are about twice the size so that's a baby blanket which we've got here and a, um, a shawl. Um, the shawl is going to be in this brighter colour palette and the two smaller projects in the neutrals. Um, we've got three different colour variations that you can choose from. Um, we've got the the pastels here, which is the is this, um, this baby yeah. Yeah, that's Perfect. the baby blanket. But you could swap them around. You could use pastels for the cushions or yeah. anything you want Depending to. Depending on really. your style, your taste and yeah. 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 And then we've so. got um the more neutral which the blues. Oh, that's really nice. Um, and is that for the smaller projects that one yeah yeah that's what I've used for the smaller projects um but the same you could you could swap it around mix them up yeah to. yeah or change a couple of colors if you want to yeah and then the brights nice. um the actual range of colors in the summer light there's 12 shades and we've managed to use about 11 think, yeah yeah the only one that we've not used is the pure white which is here um I've it's quite bright, isn't it? It is quite yeah. a bright white. And the one that we've used twice is the wash linen. And you can actually see how different it looks depending on which colours you place it you with. You mixed it with, yeah. Because in with the, the neutrals, it actually looks quite bright white. Yeah, next to the, the blues and the and the navy, they yeah. just look really bright. But then on with the pastels, it's actually coming across as being quite grey. Yeah, it's more like torn down, isn't it, in this? It, looks, yeah. it blends more, I think. So you can see if you chose to um, mix the colours up yourself and did a different colour palette, how the colours would play with each other. Yeah. Um, Which is your favourite colour wear? Favourite is the bright. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, the actual kind of JD kind of colour is one of my favourite colours yeah. anyway, so. It's, yeah, yeah. got to be the favourite. It is. <laughs> um, and the actual project itself runs over, well, there's seven different motifs and they're going to be released, is it every 10 days? Yeah, I think it's a Wednesday or a Friday release. So you'll either get a pattern on the Wednesday and then it would be the following Friday. And then if you got it on the Friday, it wouldn't be the following Wednesday, it would be the one after that. So it's either nine, nine or ten or, days. Yeah, yeah. So you've got plenty of time to do your motifs as yeah. you're going along. And if you fall a bit behind, it's quite, you know, you can catch up quite easily. Yeah. I think you've got a good space of time in between. For the smaller projects, I think there's a mixture of um, four or five each week. Yeah. And then the larger projects is about ten each ten, week. Yeah. A couple of them will, will vary because in the smaller projects, on some of them, I've chosen to do a few extra of the um, the plain one colour. Okay. Yeah. Um. So you'll do a few extra of those, and as the motifs progress, so does the um, difficulty. So the technical side of yeah. it, it gets harder the more you go along working yeah. your motifs. That's, yeah. So it's a great project for any beginners. Yeah. Because the first motif is really simple. Right. Um, and you've obviously got all the um, YouTube help that we produce. Yeah, two video tutorials yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. So anybody can do it if you're advanced or if you're a beginner. So even if you've never done crochet before, it's a great, way to, great way to start. Yeah. yeah. And because it's motifs as well, it's it's really easy to take around with you. You only need like a little hook ball of yarn and Yeah, and then you're good to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you could do it on transport or anything. I suppose it's quite a sense of accomplishment as well if you if you want to see something quite quick. Yeah. You're actually crocheting something and you, you see it within, you know, a matter yeah. of like, I don't know, hours or well, yeah, for, 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 for beginning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely you would I mean you could get a couple done in an hour, depending on which one you do it. Yeah. And how good you are. Great. Um, so the motifs we have here um, are all mixed up with the different shades. So can you remember which is week one? I think it's this I think one. It's that. Yeah. 
So you're starting off with something that's fairly simple, you've just got trebles in there um, and you're using all the shades just to get you going really, to see something nice and colourful. Yeah, and to get you yeah. Yeah, eased into it. And then as you're going along you'll progress to doing different things like this one here, you're actually travelling the, the yarn across which makes a really good use of doing something when it has got more than one shade in it because you can actually they see, see that pattern. that colour over the top yeah. and yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think the best way as well of doing it after you've done all the motifs they may, if you're a beginner, come mm -hmm. out slightly different sizes, which they have here. And then they they've all got the same amount of stitches around the outside edge. So they will So they will the they will block out to the size that they should be. Yeah. yeah. So to block them out before you start and then to start putting them all together. Yeah. Um, which again is really easy, it's just a case of DCs and slip stitches That's um, cool. Yeah, with trebles around the edge. Oh yeah, because it looks, you can see it's a bit deeper there. Yeah, yeah. And again, when you've blocked a project, it just looks so much more professional. Yeah, yeah, like you've actually, you know, it's like you've accomplished something and it looks amazing yeah. and you're like, wow, yeah, it's so beautiful.